how to fill your CV with good stuff. It's worth to mention that these regulations are based on UK specific requirements. So let's walk through sections. There is six sections you have to include in your CV. So the first section is your details, so your name, your surname. You don't put your photo in or your date of birth or the country you're coming from. You do put your phone number, your email address. Eventually, if you have a LinkedIn profile, you can put a link into your LinkedIn profile. And obviously your name. And then there's the second part, which is your short bio, which is like a short description about yourself. It's not compulsory, but it's good to have it. Obviously, tailored to every job you're applying to. You cannot send the same bio for every single job you're applying to. It's really good to make it tailored for the specific role, specific job or company. And then they will feel like you actually made work whilst creating your CV. Then there's a section for education. You're writing about your school you went to, ideally from the top to bottom. So if you did your masters, you'd put in masters, then your undergrad studies. Sometimes some people put high school in it, but if you did undergrad, it's it's basically important just to put your undergrad and your master degree. You don't have to list every single school you went to. Because remember, your CV cannot be longer than two pages, ideally. If you're a very active person, you kind of have to squeeze it in as much as you can whilst bringing out yourself and trying to sell yourself. Then there's another section, which is experience. Everything you've done in your life that you got paid for or not. So it can be a work experience, it can be your additional experience to your university, it can be your voluntary experience, internships, any placement you've done, apprenticeships, any training you got paid for, or any companies you worked for, maybe for free or for exchange of money or experience or anything you've done in your past that you're proud of doing. Everything is going to your experience. Remember to put the company name, the position you've been to, the year when you started, when you finished, or you're still working, which is a present. And then like a brief description of what you've done in this job. So I'll give you an example. I'm a career advisor in Studio of Anglia, which is Oxfordon company. Um, I've worked there from 2016 till now, till present. And I'm also responsible for presenting, for increasing the amount of students we're sending. We're helping students to to get places at university. I'm also a career coach there, so I'm helping students with finding a career. And I was traveling abroad when I could uh, for any presentations or events I had to do as a business thing. So every single thing you've done and you think is relevant to the job you're applying to, you can explain what you've done in this job, what skills you've gained, and what was your responsibility. It's good to do with every single job you have, of course, be mindful that you've gone you've got only two pages so don't put a lot just put essential things you want to show off after experience it's good to talk about skills some people are just listing their skills like oh i've got organizational skill timekeeping skill um you know networking emotional intelligence and they don't put any descriptions any explanations any sources of where this skill is coming from Unfortunately, you just cannot list the skills. Of course you can, but it's gonna be much better if you're gonna put the skill and then put the explanation. So I'll give you an example on my CV. I have only a few skills listed and then I'm proving my point by say, saying that, oh, I took part in this project which gave me this skill and you know I did this presentation, so I got presentational skills. So it's not like you're putting empty words on your CV, but you're actually explaining where this is coming from. In this section, you can talk about any additional courses you've done, accredited or not accredited, any projects, any voluntary work or voluntary exhibitions or projects you've finished, any other achievements, any competitions, any awards you've done, or maybe you wrote a book or you've got a YouTube channel, anything that will show you that you're more than just your education and experience, that you've got skills, you're passionate and you're doing something additionally rather than just getting your education done. And lastly, I hope I don't have to talk about it, but I know some people are unfortunately doing it. Don't lie on your CV. If you didn't go to this job, if you, if you were not a manager in this company, don't put it down. 
I know people who've lied at their CVs and believe me, recruiters are not stupid. They will find out. They will find out through the conversation with you, the way you talk. Um, maybe they will do a bit of background search on you, like LinkedIn profiles, some Facebook, some Instagram. Maybe they will ask around if they have any mutual friends. So don't lie. The truth will always come out one way or another, even if you're gonna get this job somehow. And if you will not be able to provide those skills you said you have, their, their recruiters or the employers will find out at some point and you might end up even worse than if you wouldn't have this job so don't lie at your CV that's crucial I'm telling you as I mentioned on my previous videos I have to tell you that recruiters do look at your social media so if you haven't seen the branding online presence video take a look at that how to clean your social media because recruiters do at your profile. I cannot stress this enough. They do look your LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. They, If they see you anywhere, if they see you drunk at the party, you know, last year vomiting and, you know, doing weird stuff on social media, why they would hire you if that's your online presence? You have to clean your online presence. So whilst creating your CV, maybe cover letter, also clean your social media. That's important. So that was a very brief explanation of how to write a CV and what to include. If you have any other questions, please comment me down below. And if you enjoyed it, please, please, please subscribe and like this video. It's gonna help me grow and yeah, it wills the world to me. So thank you guys for listening and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.